Hi everyone, I'm Vanessa Virial, Partnerships at World First USA. World First is an international payments company helping online sellers process payments and bring profits back home at more favorable exchange rates. Jumping into our currencies update, the months of March and April have seen some volatility. The U.S. dollar has had a rough time lately as a result of the Federal Reserve decision to not increase interest rates more regularly despite strong U.S. data. This has been good news for the euro, which reached a six-month high in April. The sterling, on the other hand, is taking a pounding with those who want out of the European Union, taking the lead over those who want to avoid Brexit. Both sides officially started campaigns in mid-April, so keep an eye out for the news ahead of the June 23rd referendum date. If the UK leaves the Union, expect a big impact on cross-channel trade. Looking to our neighbors up north, the Canadian dollar continues to follow oil for the most part, rising and falling with crude prices. Major economic indicators can also impact the loonie. An example was the big drop in manufacturing shipments in February, showing a disappointing outlook for the Canadian economy. While most news is about the decreasing demand for oil to slowing global growth, there is also the supply side to consider. Could we maybe start seeing supply decrease as the competitive landscape thins because of recent bankruptcies in energy companies? With less players contributing output, we could see an increase in prices. The recent OPEC meeting in Doha quickly quashed these hopes as the country's president came to no agreement on a potential freeze of output. Oil was sent sharply downwards, citing 8% at one time in futures trading. Down under, the Australian dollar has been making a strong comeback, rising 12% in the first few months of 2016. After the thrashing it received in late 2015, hitting a 13-year low, this commodity currency is now coming back up. The Japanese yen has been on quite the tear in April, causing concern for those that guide monetary policy. While its currency has been marching upward, Japan's inflation certainly has not. The recipe for a strengthening currency is not usually deflation, bond buying, and negative interest rates, but the currency world is a wild one and sometimes moves contrary to expectations. That's all for May. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in next month for our next global update.